Hey you guys, I know it's been a while since we've had Sunday school. It's like what, two weeks in a row that I've been slacking. Um, I apologize just with uh, services getting started back up at the church, which some of you guys have been there, some of you guys haven't. Um, it's been really difficult for me to find a time to be able to have Sunday school with you guys because I record the Spanish service at eight and then I have to like go back home, finish getting ready and then get back to church by 10 o'clock to start practicing for our 11 o'clock service. And kind of doing Sunday school in the evening and the afternoon, I feel like, you know, because people already don't, you know, are used to not doing anything in the afternoon, I would just hate to just have to, you know, mess up people's plans um or you know mess up my plans or anything like that so i think for now what i'm gonna do um is just kind of start posting those youtube videos again for you guys that way they start at 10 every morning i don't have to worry about y'all not having sunday school um and then if y'all want to join us at 11 o'clock, we are on Facebook Live. We're also in, you know, the actual church building. I understand if some of you guys don't feel comfortable attending yet. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, um, this week's lesson. I just kind of wanted to give y'all a heads up about what's going on. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure you comment in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to pretty much similar to how we were doing it before. Uh, if you have any questions or you have any comments you want to say, answer any questions that I list in the description box, please make sure you answer and that you let me know, okay? So um, let's go ahead and get started with this week's lesson. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Hey guys. So if you see this right here, and you can probably see my horrible setup for recording myself, but what is this? If you said mirror, you're correct, which that's a no brainer, but um, a mirror. So what does a mirror do? A mirror helps us see ourselves. Um, probably girls pay more attention to mirrors. My mirror has to have light on it. In fact, I have a mirror right here that's, you know, kind of shining light on me to give me that, you know, brightness. Um, guys, probably the only time you'll ever stare into the mirror is whenever you're brushing your teeth and washing your face for the day. Um, us girls for makeup, we use a mirror anytime we need to fix our makeup, fix our lipstick, we use a mirror. Um, so today's lesson is reflecting on the reflection, okay? Um, seeing ourselves as we really are. A mirror is going to show everything. It's going to show our, in, you know, probably our, our insecurities. Um, I love the mirrors that make you look skinnier. Um, those are my favorite mirrors. Uh, but you have some mirrors that make you look bigger or you have some mirrors that... Um, you know, when you see yourself, you can see all your imperfections in your face or the imperfections that you have in your body. Um, but I want you just to kind of think to yourself for a few minutes when you look at yourself in the mirror. OK. Um, and, you you know, notice food in your teeth or um, you happen to be in the bathroom and you notice your zipper is open or you had your shirt on backwards. Um or you have something on your nose, like too much makeup on your nose, or like you didn't smear your makeup enough or something. Um, you know, when you see that stuff, what's the first thing you do? You want to, you know, fix it. You want to take whatever's out of your teeth. You want to zip your zipper. You want to turn your shirt inside out. Um, you want to make sure you blend in with your fingers the makeup that you forgot to blend in on the side of your nose. And sometimes the reason that we don't ignore these things is because we have other people that act as a mirror towards us. I don't know if y'all have ever been in that um, awkward situation where you're at lunch and like you have something in your teeth and you're like literally talking the entire time with like a piece of broccoli stuck in your teeth and nobody says anything to you. Or do you have people that will actually say something to you? I get kind of awkward in those types of situations and I kind of... Like, I want to tell the person, but I don't want to embarrass the person. So it's kind of like when you have, like, a booger hanging out of your nose and you're just kind of like, you know, you got something there. Um, but 
you know, we do have a mirror that sometimes, you know, we see other people and we see things they have and we want to be like them or they see, you know, vice versa. So, you know, aside from the mirror, um, scripture can be a mirror for us. How? Um, because it help us, it helps us to see ourselves the way God sees us. Okay. And I know, you know, guys, I don't know how insecure y'all may be, and maybe it could be in other things that you could be insecure about, but I know girls, especially in this generation, there's just this need to just look perfect and just to always look your best. And I feel like it's kind of messed up the way that, you know, it's put a lot of pressure on, on girls. I think especially younger girls. Me, I could care less, but I know there's some people that like, they have to have, you know, the right, uh, how do you say it? Shade. They have to be tan and, and be a certain shade, or they have to have like the most expensive makeup, like to look flawless, or they have to be super skinny. There's so many things that the world, social media has put out there that I think puts a lot of pressure on girls to feel like they have to be perfect at all times. But thankfully, you know, God's word shows us how he sees us. And, and a lot of the things that are in scripture is nothing to do with what social media and what the world portrays to us. And, and most importantly, what I want you to get out of this is not only, you know, learning to see ourselves, but learning to see ourselves the way that God sees us. And then also, because it doesn't just stop right there. Yes, God wants us to see ourselves the way he sees us, but he also wants us to respond to to what we see and to actually believe it, okay? And so um, earlier during the week, I sent you guys the verses that we're going to be focusing on for today. Um, simple, simple verse. Uh, hopefully you guys read it throughout the week and just kind of started... Um, you know, thinking about what it could mean, uh, how this ties into the lesson, because I know I usually just give you the title of the lesson. Um, and then, you know, hopefully you can are able to figure out throughout the week, excuse me, what we're going to talk about. So the word is James chapter one, verse 22 through 25. Um, and I'm going to start off with a question first, okay? So today's lesson has about one, two, three, four, five. It's got about six questions, okay? So as always, I'm going to put the questions down in the description box. If you guys will please answer the questions. Um, if there's any comments you want to add, any thoughts you have, if there's anything you've ever... Um, struggled with. Um, if you want to share anything that has to do with the lesson, please do. Um, I want to make this feel as, um, how do you say it? I want this to feel like, you know, we are having Zoom, which I know when we have Zoom, not a lot of people talk. But sometimes I, what I liked about doing the YouTube videos is that, you know, people that don't normally talk are putting, you know, how they feel or or any thoughts they have ab about the lesson. And pretty soon we'll get back into the classroom. But for now, um, I just want to do it this way. That way y'all don't go without a lesson. If y'all have any questions or anything, please make sure that you um, let me know. So I just kind of want you to think, you know, have you ever walked around school um, for maybe three or four of your class periods before somebody told you you had uh, toilet paper wrapped around the bottom of your foot? Has that ever happened to you? Um, and it doesn't have to be toilet paper. It could be, you know, you had a stain in your shirt that you had no idea. Or you had some type of food stuck in your teeth. Um, you drank milk and you had like a milk mustache or anything. Um, or has anybody ever written a note and like put it on you? I've, I've done that before at work. I think, but as a funny, um, but just kind of think about that aspect. Okay. And, uh, James chapter one, 22 verses, uh, verses 22 through 25. I'm sorry, says, but don't just listen to God's word. Okay. Don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise you are only fooling yourselves for if you listen to the word and you don't obey, it is like glancing at your face in a mirror. 
you see yourself, you walk away, and you forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says and don't forget what you heard, then God is going to bless you for doing it. Um, these verses are so powerful, you guys. Like You have no idea the power in these verses and, and what God's trying to tell us because it does no good. Everybody looks in the mirror. They look at themselves. They want to see how pretty they look, make sure their makeup's done just right. Um but what God is telling us is that when we read his word, he wants us to actually believe what it's telling us. And I think sometimes we get lost in all the chaos, um, the pressure to, to feel like you have to, to meet a certain criteria, um, whether it be in sports, um, grades, you know, within your family, like you feel like you have like a rep to protect, um, it says that we're only fooling ourselves if we don't listen to what God tells us. So that means when God tells us, you know, you are strong or he says, be courageous. We have to believe that and we have to act on that. Um, we can't, you know, listen to the word on Sunday morning or Sunday evening, Wednesday evening, or if you listen to podcasts, we can't just listen to the word and just think, oh, yeah, yeah, God says this, God says that, amen, you know, but yet we don't believe it or our lives aren't a reflection of what the Bible is telling us. And it is, it's like you just look at yourself in the mirror like, oh, you know, my hair, my curls, okay, bye. Bye. No, like God wants us to believe what he says about us. Um, there's that that one song, um, ugh, what is it called? It says, I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. I love that song. Um, who the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Like that's the perfect example, you know, we should look at ourselves like we are, you know, we are. I mean, God says who we are. He says who we are and we should believe it. There's no reason why nobody should should believe what the Bible says and what God says about us. Um, verse 25 says, but if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says, don't forget what you heard and don't forget what you heard, then God is going to bless you for it. And that's not to say, you know, we're, we're going to have our moments where we're not going to feel our best. Okay. Um, I know for me and, uh, you know, story time, I know I always tell y'all my little stories, but, um, you know, I've, there's times, I, I don't know if y'all have ever felt like you feel like you should have accomplished certain things in life by now. And I know y'all are young, so it's probably, it's different for you guys than it is for me. Um, but just now that I'm older, you know, I, I got pregnant when I was in high school. Um, I was able to get through college. Uh, now I'm, you know, getting my master's and, um, we, I just found out Friday, um, the facility that I work at, they're going to shut down in July. And, um, you know, there is, uh, I do ask that y'all be praying for me as far as, you know, my, my job and, and my career and, and what, you know, God wants of this. Um, I'm trying not to worry myself because I know God's got me. Um, there, there is another company that's going to try to buy us, um, long story short, but it would just mean like we would have to like reapply. Um, so it's not too bad, but I think it's just the, the not knowing what's going to happen that really kind of has me like asking God, like, okay, like I've been asking for a job for like a year now and no door has opened. But then also I'm thinking, well, God, is this you opening another door, you know, that I don't, you know, I don't know. We don't always, we're not always able to see exactly what God has for us, right? And so back to the whole point of my story, I just, sometimes I felt like, you know, I'm 26 years old. I feel like I see other people around me. And so we could say that it's, it's mirrors, right? 
I see other people around me that are married, um, they have kids, uh, they're, you know, in their careers. And, and sometimes, you know, for me, I look at myself, you could say, I look myself in the mirror and I wonder, like, you know, I feel like I should be married by now. I should have another child by now. And sometimes, like, I'm not going to lie to you, not that I like... I'm not afraid to be single. I love to be single. Girls, guys, enjoy being single. <laughs> like, this is something I probably would have never said a year ago. <laughs> but, you know, I... Sometimes I feel like God wants to have a really close relationship with you. At least for me, I that's what I feel is that it's okay to be 26 and to be single. It's okay that I'm still getting my masters and that I still haven't, um, you know, it's okay that I still haven't necessarily gotten into the career that, you know, what I ultimately want to do because what I do right now, like that's not my dream job, you know, I still have a dream job. And, you know, sometimes I look in all these mirrors and then I see mirrors of other people and sometimes that can be overwhelming and it can make you think like, oh my goodness, like, why am I not married? Like, why don't I have kids? Like, why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing that? And I think part of these verses and part of what other scripture tells us is that God tells us it's okay. And as long as I can believe in what God tells me, right there, verse 25 says he's going to bless us for doing it. And I know that I kind of went all over the place with my story, but just the main point is, is, you know, don't pay so much attention to what you see in the mirror or to what you think others see in the mirror when it comes to looking at you, because what ultimately matters is what God says. Okay. And, um, I know my, my last relationship that I was in, um, you know, I really thought, like, I really thought that was it. Like, I was engaged. I was going to, supposed to get married. Um, like, I really thought that was it. And so it's like, when that relationship ended, you know, I was just kind of like, okay, God, <laughs> like, I thought this was it, you know? And I just, I'm kind of just trying to just to explain to you, like, sometimes what we see in the mirror or what we think we're supposed to look at in the mirror isn't always what God wants of us. And, you know, it's okay to not be like everybody else. Don't feel, because of the pressure that there is in this world, don't feel like you have to be what everybody else is. We all have our own mirrors. And I think what's most important is that we do learn to see ourselves for how we are and for how God says that we are. And that we are able to see other people and know like, okay, you know what? That's them, but this is me. Or let me see what God wants of me. Sometimes, you know, we may not know. And sometimes what we think we want and then what God wants is just two completely different things. And that's completely okay. Um, so I don't know if any of you guys want to share down below. Let me know if, you know you've ever struggled with anything when it comes to looking in the mirror. Um, I feel like we all struggle with different things. And I think sometimes God puts us through things because it's going to help other people. And I know that some people view being single, and I'm just going to use that as an example. Some people view being single like as a bad thing, especially when everybody around you is in a relationship. And it used to be like that for me, but I've really learned to enjoy my time being single because I'm able to spend more time with God. I'm able to spend more time with myself. And um, I feel like self-love, loving yourself, loving God, really having a relationship with him is what's really going to prepare you for when, you know, you do have a relationship with somebody else. Relationships aren't, you know... It's cool to be around a lot of people, but to really learn how to be to yourself and enjoy being with yourself is very rewarding. And I know that sounds weird because I would have never said that, especially a couple years back, because I always felt like I had to be with somebody. And I think that's why I went through a lot of the things that I went through because 
all that time, God was asking me, hey, me, like, look at me, leave the guys alone. Like, guys are always going to be there. Like, look at me. And, and it wasn't until about a year ago that I really started to notice that, like, okay, God, like, I'm, I'm going to keep my eyes on you. Um, so I'm curious, you know, for me, that that's my example of something I've struggled with. I would love to know some of the things that y'all have um, struggled with, uh, whether it be, you know, school, sports, like it doesn't have to be anything like super deep. Like we all struggle with different things. And I think it would be very neat for us as a class to be able to share those things um, because you never know. It could help somebody else. It, it could always help somebody else. But um, I encourage you guys to focus on what the Bible says instead of what everybody else says or what you kind of tell yourself when you look yourself in the mirror. Um, so let's move on to questions right now. So remember, I'm going to put the questions down below in the description box. Um, so first question, is it possible to completely miss seeing a problem in yourself even if the mirror is right there in front of you so um just to kind of explain that a little bit better do you guys think that it's possible that you know for example say i'm gonna poke out my little mirror say that i can see myself in this mirror okay is it possible that me looking at myself in this mirror i can miss seeing a problem even if the mirror is right there. Okay. Um, I know that question sounds kind of confusing, but I think it's a perfect example that life is not based off looks. Okay. Um, I could have so many issues. I could have heart issues. I could have non-physical issues issues that a mirror is not going to see. You know, I could be smiling. I could have, you know, just amazing eyelashes, gorgeous hair, beautiful smile. But on the inside, I could have the worst attitude ever. I could be a very rude, disrespectful person. And a mirror is not going to see that. And so I think that's, that's a perfect example of under being able to understand that just because you may not like what you see in the mirror or you don't think other people like what they see in the mirror like when they look at themselves or when they look at you that's not what it's about it's about what you are on the inside um looks you know there's a reason why makeup was invented um botox and and that's because as you get older the body's just physical it's gonna wear and tear it's gonna you're gonna get wrinkles as much as you try not to it's just a part of life but what's most important is is what's inside and and what's in your heart and and i know that there are girls that you know sometimes and just because this world is just so focused on appearance and an appearance and appearance and appearance and it's like appearance is not what matters what matters is what's on the inside so guys if you are listening to this don't 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 fall in love or be with a girl based off what she looks like um make sure you try to find the things that you can't see in a mirror okay let's put it that way um number three it says what are some reasons people avoid looking in the mirror okay what are what do you think are some of those reasons that people avoid looking in the mirror do you guys have issues looking at yourselves in the mirror i mean i have to look at myself in the mirror every single day um growing up my dad he would when he was like brushing his teeth in the bathroom and stuff like he would talk to himself in the mirror and it would just crack me up and i, I do it sometimes because you know it's it's a little bit of humor um but what are what do you think are some of the reasons that people avoid looking in the mirror um another question is what are some reasons you may avoid looking into the mirror of scripture okay scripture and i know y'all guys have read some verses and you're like oh my gosh god i know you're talking to me type verses um and sometimes we don't want to like 
when the Bible tells us things, sometimes we're like, oh, no, you know. But what do you think are the reasons that we avoid looking into the mirror of Scripture? Do y'all, have y'all ever happened to, to catch yourselves doing that? Um, next question. If people were secretly watching you this week, which would they decide is most important to you? Okay. How others view you or how God views you. Okay. Um, for me, I've never really been a person that really cares what other people think. Um, I, <laughs> I'm a very to myself person. Like I'm only going to open up to the people that I feel comfortable with. And that's something kind of that's bad because, you know, as a Christian, it, it shouldn't be that way. Because, you know, if I don't know you, I'm not going to say anything to you. Like if I don't know you, I'm not going to smile at you. Uh, people people say I have resting, um, resting B face. And yes, I know that's not a good word, <laughs> but I can just look like I'm mad, like honestly. And it's really bad at work because I feel really bad sometimes um, when we get new people that start to work and like they're in training because they're, you know, I just walk in and like, I don't say hi to anybody. Like I'll say hi just to the people that I know, but most of the time, like they say good morning and I'm like, oh, good morning. <laughs> like, and I feel bad. Like I shouldn't be that way. But um, are you somebody that really cares? Because there are people that care about what other people think of them. And I think those are the people. And, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. But who cares what other people think of you? Because the only thing that should matter is how you think of yourself, how you see yourself. But most importantly, what matters is how God sees you. Because this world, as, as we've stated... And as you can see in, in social media and, and, and magazines and, you know, just the whole world, they feel like appearance is everything and it's not. You could have the best looks in the world, but that's not, that's not going to get you, you know, yeah, it might get you certain things, but what matters is on the inside. So, you know, if, if, if people were secretly watching you, what would they decide is most important to you? Um, and I'm curious to see, you know, what y'all's thoughts are that, you know, how others view you or how God views you. Okay. And then the last question is, do you spend most of your time looking into the wall mirror or the word mirror? And I'm going to be honest with you. I probably spend more time in the wall mirror because I mean, I get ready every single morning. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, but what do you spend more time on? Do we focus more more time on on our looks and making sure that our eyelashes are good, our brows are on fleek, um, our lips are popping, <laughs> or do we spend more time focusing on the word mirror and and what God tells us? And you know, I know sometimes we get caught up. We're, I mean, I'm not gonna say that I don't. Um, you get caught up sometimes in, in looks and wanting to have, you know, the fake eyelashes for me. Like, I love makeup, you guys. Y'all don't already know. But um, let's just remember, you know, to see ourselves how we really are and then see ourselves the way God sees us and then actually make sure that we believe it. Like the verses that we read said. And um any other questions or comments, you already know what to do. Just let me know down below. Um, guys, if you're not tuning in to Facebook Live for our service at 11, or if you're not coming, I encourage you guys to come. Um, there hasn't been many people coming. And um, something that Juan said during our service today um, or on Sunday was that... Uh, you know, people are starting to get comfortable at home, you know, and I know like for me before the Spanish service started at eight, like I would just lay in bed till like 930 um, till I had to get up, you know, and I think sometimes as Christians, like we got to be careful because yeah, things are slowly starting to get back to where they were. But at the same time, like we need the church, like we actually need to go to church. And it's been amazing to, um, be able to see the people that have gone to church um, as a worship leader to be able to sing and have people there clapping and it's not like because I know at first when we first started recording um, 
to put him on YouTube, like it was just, it was awkward. Like it was just really weird because you're used to hearing the people sing. So, um, if I haven't seen y'all at church yet, I hope to see you guys soon. And I will let you guys know what the topic for next week will be along with the um, verses so that you guys are able to kind of read that and kind of have something to think about uh, throughout the week. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.